What's going on, y'all? It's your boy, Son of the Waves. This is What's the Wave. I am here on episode, was it 29? With my man. Are you ganging 29 episodes? <sighs> We've been working. I'm, I'm here, and now I got you here to show the people, my man, Keem, how you living? What's how you doing? Man? What's going on today? How you doing today? I'm smooth, brother, man. Just uh, trying to stay afloat, stay blessed and positive. Absolutely, real, real. absolutely. You know, we don't got to get into it, but to keep it real, you know, um, even before the episode, there's been a process getting you here. Mm -hmm. um, us playing phone tag, going back and forth, you know, just schedules meeting up. But I'm glad it's finally been here. It's been a long time coming. It's been a minute as well since since I've seen you, but other than that, I'm glad to see you here, healthy, oh living mama. good. I'm about to say smiling. I'm about to say you smiling, man. Strong as hell, dog. I've been trying. You know, got a couple little <laughs> tattoos. I'll be hitting my pushups every now and again, so you know. My nigga um, but skinny niggas though. always, skinny niggas always. But yeah, I, got, I, I shriveled up. I used to be yoker. It's all right. Yeah, I'm, I you can get though. back to it. We got we got we got a couple more in this. We got a couple more years in this. Niggas, we, we pushing thirty. I Ooh. keep saying niggas. We can say niggas. Yeah, absolutely. It's YouTube, baby. Oh, it's, it's YouTube. Baby. It's YouTube, baby. Come on, we on everything. We Come on, we oh, doing oh. the movement. Um, but yes, we're here. It's what's the wave. Got a couple great topics for you. It's been a, it's been a slow news week, but we got some good sports talk definitely for y'all. Um, a wonderful Bay Area brand, as you see behind me, dipped in butter. I've been excited because I've been wanting to get into some car talk with this human being right next to me right here because I've been a fan of a car that he owns at 5.0. If you know me and you've heard me personally, you know. The next the next shit I come in is going to be <laughs> enough said. But yeah, I'm talking about so, the stanger. You know, we're going to get into some of that. Definitely get into some car talk. Uh, definitely got to have to pick this man's brain and uh, learn some shit as well because I, I I like what you into, but I don't know that much. So I want to pick somebody, a, a vet, at least from my perspective, um, who's been in the game for a little bit. So let's get into it. Glad I could get you out the house and out and about. Um, 2021, We it's been a crazy year already. Crazy we're, we're, it's September already, boy. Mm -hmm. We it's, it's moved quick. Um, how, how have you been? How's your, how's your year been treated after a crazy 2020 with the, yeah, you know, the panoramic and everything? The panoramic. You know, <laughs> with the panoramic and everything. How's, uh, how's 20, uh, 2021 did you so far? It's been smooth, man. Been taking some hits, some losses, but at the same time, uh, I've been experiencing a whole lot of growth this year. Ooh, uh, that's a great word. Growth, yeah, growth. Mentally, never stop growing. Mentally and uh, spiritually, just mm -hmm. growing, you feel me? Uh, maturing for sure mm -hmm. uh, but took another loss uh, a lot more losses this year you feel me with mm -hmm. family and folks and friends but besides right. that a lot of things been happening for me that have been blessings so yeah that's you good take, you gotta take the good with the bad and just thank god for what come for real for real life is is about experience and i'm glad you're a person who's able to at least be thankful for those um wins also for the losses because it's easy to dwell on them it's easy to dwell on them hard times so oh yeah it's easy to fall to fall into the pressure and all that but you got to focus. Stay focused. You got to have something to live for, for real. Come on. And we and like I said, we've been talking just before the podcast. We got to talk about some old times, some current times, just what we've been going through. And um, just, like I said, just having you here. It's been so fun. You know, I always get a feeling when I record with, with the homies and somebody who I also very know. So I'm just glad I'm, that you're here. And it's such good spirits. Cause oh, no, because it's love. Because yeah, you know, we're going we to get into some shit. But 21... 2021 has been crazy um it's almost the end of it 2022 is like around the corner around the corner so Man. uh what, what, what what's, what's plans for that you got any we, we turned 27 we 95 babies we 95, 95. We shout out to all the 90s babies out there we 95 ers out yeah, here yeah summer baby you july i'm july yeah i'm yeah. june summer babies too man Ooh, we out here man we out here we out here uh, we don't gotta get in the horoscopes i'm a cancer though Oh, uh, everybody don't like Gemini's. You know, a, no, everybody nobody like Gemini's. cancer. Like, y'all crazy. We sensitive, so it's okay. Fuck everybody. What y'all say? <laughs> Ask about me. <laughs> Ask about me. Oh, but, my mama. Um, switching it into another kind of you know a little bit of a serious topic. Pains and the fires. All these natural disasters and shit. I've talked about it on the last few episodes with some guests. Um, and I just really love getting a, a different outlook on how y'all feel about it because I'm pretty sure y'all been seeing how how I feel about global warming and all the other shit but it's fucked up it's crazy i about to say cali been on fire for shit how many years now like four, four five years four, four five we've been loaded in bad lungs and Nap, pollution napa and all this shit you seen the weather how the smoke's been traveling to the bay um prayers up do you, um do you, um 
prayers up to you. Do you have any family affected by the floods over on the East Coast or uh, mm, in, in Louisiana or anything? No, I don't got anybody that I know personally affected. I know people that got like family members out there. I heard stories of them going through stuff. Fires and hurricanes, yes. Um, did you have any um, affections um, personally? With, with that, no, I wasn't affected by that at all, really. Uh, I know some people that got family members out there that I sent prayers for, um, having to relocate to different states, yeah, because they got flooded out. And that shit, that shit, I've seen, um, uh, Cam on his on his, oh, IG. yeah, and no, now you know what my brother, saying, that my was brother like, Cam, that was one of the only people I seen, like, that's my only I mean, person exactly, that really yeah. got affected by it. Uh, with Cam, I was say he got his, he got truck, his car, could, his yeah. truck flooded, man, his truck flooded, man, cold blooded on me. If we could start a GoFundMe right now for the truck. I hey, would, but, but G, hey, let's let's get it back on the road, uh, cause he he definitely he had a nice a nice little Jeep truck. He thought Jeep it was good. Truck. Hey, he thought it was good, and I thought it was good for him. He was like, I ain't tripping like way. It's a Jeep. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah, hey, I'm playing. but bro, I pray for you and your car, bro. Mm -hmm. For real, for real. But I talked to him too. Uh, yeah, recently, yeah, when it happened, I was like, damn, bro, where you at? And he was letting me know where he was at. Uh, when it was going through, I was like, damn, I'm saying a prayer for you, my brother. Right on. But yeah, that's one of the close friends I grew up with right there. I grew up with him. Yeah. yeah. Shout out, a quick shout out to Cam. Um, KP, man. KP, for sure. Um, I was, when I was at Solano Community College, I was doing my broadcasting thing. Covered him a couple games. You know, he was doing his baseball thing. You know, they played a couple times. Yeah, I did see you up there when I went up there. Yeah. For yeah. sure, for sure. So, he was definitely doing our thing. Um, covered. I to, when I used to hoop up there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So. Ooh, that was that's a whole nother that's a whole nother topic for sure for sure. Um, but as I said, it's been a bit of a slow news week, so I, I picked a little random topic talking about these VMAs, award shows, little music video, uh, video music awards because we've seen in public lately at concerts and shit, rappers been getting in trouble for a lot of random shit they've been saying, and we know rappers are not notorious for saying some random shit at these music awards. So we got these coming up. Um, have you been I'm pretty sure you haven't Because I haven't been either Have you been privy to any um, Drama Oscar drama no, I know the Oscar's the Oscar been a little bit like drama that. And the Grammys yeah. The last couple of years Have been crazy Just the host and all this shit But The video music awards Do you even Do you even watch music videos anymore? Uh, be honest with you Nah like I'll probably watch some people That I know's music videos If I like the I, song But, uh, so, but that's what I'm saying but That's I'm not a good a YouTube, point. You I'm not, yeah, I'm like, like only thing I really watch on YouTube is like comedy shows, mm -hmm. podcasts. Because um, I feel like I'm much more of a YouTuber now more than a, a live TV. I yeah. only watch sports on live TV now. Yeah, I don't watch live TV at all. Really? I got Hulu and Netflix, so I got like shows that I watch. I fall asleep to like yeah. Rust Valley yeah. or uh, Gotham Garage. Like people okay, that read, uh, other that's Netflix shows. If you want to watch some car shows, put them on. Put them on. Um, cars. And then I'll go on Hulu and just be on Rick and Morty and Afro Samurai or One Punch Man. Shout out One Punch. We're going to get into some more TV shows. Uh, shout out One Punch. But I just want to bring that up because I feel as uh, the generation we came up in as a youngin, I was a big like music video, like MTV was my shit. Like music videos, 106 Comcast, in Park. 134, 106 MTV in Park. On the, Comcast On Demand. If you had Comcast On Demand, you was if you wasn't living off, uh, was that Music Choice? Yeah, Music Choice, but... Stop playing. But everybody Stop remember, playing. man, if you had Comcast after school, one, one. Channel 120, Fresh Prince would be on. Okay. And if you go all the way to 134... I was just chilling yeah. on Channel 70, but like I said, 106 on BS. That's 106, but 134 is when they show videos all day. Yes. And then 135 was oh, uh, music. 134, yep. And, yep. and 135 it was, was MTV, MTV Jams. It was MTV, MTV Jams or MTV, MTV Jams. Yep, yep, yep. And so... Just talk it, so you, talk it. That's talk when it. I first found out about Wiz Khalifa, when uh, he came out with Say Yeah in 2009 or 8. And then like when we got to high school, that's when y'all was... Man, I remember y'all really was Taylor Gang. <sighs> yeah, y'all was Taylor Gang yeah. to death. We was definitely Taylor Ganged out. Like that's when a nigga we we really start we start smoking papers and some more shit. Like for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, rock. I was rocking Vans and Chucks. Like I said, other than that, Vans and Chucks. Mm -hmm. I started rocking Snapbacks and all shit. Yeah, yeah niggas, everybody went through that Taylor phase, man. I, but currency always been my favorite rapper since the beginning of time. Talk your shit. Yeah, and, and actually, let's get into it right now. Just talking about uh, more music and shit as far as music lately because I've been slapping a lot more new currency as of late. Like and 
um, back in the day, I was definitely more of a Wiz fanatic. Like you said, I was big Taylor Gang. Me, like I said, the homies Ron, homie Nene, and all that shit. We was Taylor Gang snapbacks. Like I said, button ups out, and I, I still dress damn near that same way. So to this day, like I said, you still catch me in the crew neck and uh, a some nice trucks. little hat. Yeah, well, yeah, some, well, well, some vans too. now. But I'm about to say, oh, you already van, know. van Daddy Yango. Who we don't want to we don't want to get into the collection. We don't gotta go there. We don't want to get into the collection. But um, no, shout out to Currency. Um, Cause I've been slapping some a lot more new currency as I've been older. Back in the day, I wasn't really a currency fan. I, I didn't really mess with this style, but as I've been older, I went back and slapped old, now new, and I fuck with currency super tough. I fuck with new currency more than new is. Yeah, honestly, it's, so. man, it's different to experience now because we adults. And uh, but growing up as like in middle school and high school, mm -hmm. we had a lot more. Uh, what I feel like. Uh, ways to download music. We Facts. had easier ways to. We could go on hot new hip hop and just Facts. you on you HD mixtapes. That piff, all of the above. You could just go. You won't even want to. You won't even search up an artist. You really would just go on hot new hip hop or D digital drip or mm -hmm. uh, what else they had on there, man. I forgot, but you would just go on there and just look at mixtapes and be like, That's oh, it. this yeah. this like this gonna be fire. Let me now you got a new artist. You feel yeah. me that you like listening to. I remember hearing that lot. turned on to too many, too many different artists way back then. That's how I found out about Rocky Fresh before he Where? uh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I was listening to Rocky Fresh when he uh, not really too hard, mm -hmm. but when he got to MMG when we was in like I think we was like seniors or I was, seniors. Yeah, I was about to say it was a little bit that, older by then. We yeah. needed that fresh veggies mix mixtape with uh yeah. Casey Veggies. Yeah. I'm I can't really talk too much because I always knew my music ear. I had a selective ear. I, I liked what I liked, and then I had to get put on to new shit. I didn't really venture out, but you you already know me. I'm a yeah. I'm a what? music convers. I don't want to say the wrong word, but I'm a, I'm a connoisseur. Convers there you go. There you I go. love. I'm an there enthusiast to music. Like yes. I love music, down from old oldies to new. Like I went. Tina Marie, I listen to her every morning. Come on. Down to some Side A, down to some Kim, down to some Daniel Caesar, down to a bunch of different. Tyler, a lot of people don't understand. Like, Tyler. I really used to love listening to Tyler Creator. That boy's spaz. I used to love listening spaz. to him. Spaz. But spaz. then I listen to everything else like the world listened to, too. But, you mm -hmm. know, I got a thousand other songs that people probably never even heard before. Then, then let me say this with um, the variety that you've been exposed to and kind of your music air being um, having a wide range. Donda CLB. I don't want you to compare them. I just want you might to know. Look on them. Yes, yes. Because you know, it's been a lot of you know drama, you know controversy. Of course, two major artists. You know, Kanye been around since we've been little, and Drake has been his own planet since what two thousand since we got out of middle school. So, what, what is your what kind of say? I want the old Kanye two thousand four Kanye. I'm playing. Nah. Go ahead, but, go ahead, uh, go ahead. But that's that your perspective big, on both, both of those. Donda is probably like a couple of songs I listen to on there as far as like driving to work. You feel me? Like I okay. let this, I let this play if it comes yeah. up, but I ain't really vibing on that one. Gotcha. Uh, the Drake one was it called Certified Lover Boy? Yeah. Some people saying this is like best shit. Yeah, nah, best shit in a while. It's a lot of songs that I just went past because you feel me? It's Lover Boy shit. You feel me? But Facts. a couple songs on there. You like, gotta be in the mood to no listen friend, to some of them. No friends in the industry. That one with Twenty One Savage and Project Pat. Fact. Okay, that yeah. one go hard. Uh, you already know I fuck with that Ross and Wayne, but you know yeah. you know how much Wayne and I'm too. in. But yeah. you know what song I slapped though? Uh -huh. A lot of people that ain't listening to that title, uh, that new title, The Creator. It with that and that the hot winds blow with Lil Wayne on there. Yes, yes, I love that song, yes. boy. A nice yes. sunny day, smoking a blunt. Talk, it's such, it will set a vibe. Definitely good uh, ambiance setter. You feel me? What did Marshawn say? I don't know if it's the ambiance or the decor. You know, kind of leaning towards ambiance. So you feel me? It's one, it's one of them that's definitely an ambiance setter. Player, I fuck with it. So no real talk. Um, but lately. Um, I would say to every episode, you know, I've been slapping a lot of Ramble. I slap a lot of Young Day uh, coming out of Vallejo. That's one of my favorite Vallejo Man. rappers coming out the V. Um, who else has been in your ear? Just personal playlist. It doesn't have to be mainstream. Um, my personal playlist? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm pretty, like I said, we, uh, past weeks, we've had Babyface Ray mentioned too many times because he's definitely been in the Roto. Um, he in he in my rotation, but I was listening to Babyface Ray like it could be new 2018, old, 2019. In the last week, what have you been saying? Has Sade been up pop, popping up on your playlist? What's been in your ear lately? My, what been on my playlist? I'll say right now. Not to grab my phone and stuff. No, nah, go ahead. Go to you can even go to yeah, recently played, recently all of that. I like because I've been slapping songs, some new like real talk. It's funny, I've been slapping some new currency lately. Of course, some Rimble, some uh some young day. Please go check out that um that day weather. 
That Floyd Day weather. That shit is clean. Yeah, what I've been listening to. He be putting to, out hella content. Like I said, nah, I, need, like, I need to get him on the podcast. If anybody know, yeah, Young like Day, I said, WTW just tapped just talk, in with before TWT. Before I show my, talk about my playlist, Young Day, bro, is the most underrated gift we got. Thank you. In Vallejo, California. Him and Sal Salino. Talk your uh, shit, cuz. It's a lot of niggas that been out here rapping and going crazy. And a lot of niggas that got fan base. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I'm proud of y'all. Keep going crazy. I listen to y'all too. Uh, but lyrically, like just straight just bar, talk, for bar, for bar 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 for bar. Bars and talking shit. I'm telling you, these man, is different. it's a, young young days. Isn't it? If you want to be serious, he in the league of his own. In his own lyrical way, just like was, Salino, they is in their it, own yeah. league, like lyrically. Those yeah. are the type of niggas that you could have on a song, like Tota. Those, yeah. are, those are three niggas from yeah. Vallejo that you get Shout on a song, and they will and, not, they and will I not faithfully have to call him Tota. All, well, I say faithfully, but I still know Miss Tota as well. Yeah, I still know Miss Tota, bro. Ooh, yeah, I like I said, Russell, they, they, yeah, they could Lare- dance I, on any beat, any beat. They would not even cuss. No need to. And then get their point across. No need to. You feel me? I'll take my hat off to them. Oski, my uh, my folks, he uh, just because I seen where he came from and how he started rapping and where he at now. Mm-hmm. Uh, of course, Dark Lord Nando, because I seen where he started from and where he at now yeah. and how to look. How I seen people not knowing how to write to going in, not even writing no more. You feel me? Like the gifts that just people spazzing. have, still spazzing. Of course, uh, I gotta take my hat off to my brother Neff. Mm-hmm. I didn't see him literally be, do some crazy shit. You feel Facts. me? Like he literally gifted. Period. Um, fucks but with that. The, the people I mentioned before them is the people that I feel like deserve the like not the same limelight like, because everybody deserve their own shit. But niggas, I feel like they should be out there more on. You feel me? Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. Like Young Day, Sal Salino, uh, La Russell told Russell, that nigga. He, he been in the league of, he been in the league of his own since we was nigga and it's is the little kids. It's funny so. just maybe even being kind of from where we're from and just being exposed to them earlier before like and seeing where they where they've grown to now. Mm-hmm. Because like you said, you've known them seeing where maybe back in the day where they were just getting started, like I said, with with, with La Russell and, and other names mentioned. Yeah, we grew up seeing where everybody started. So that's why it's easy to be proud of everybody down to down to even S O B and them. Like yeah. I never thought bar uh yeah. B would be rapping. Right. Like, right. I saw you dunking on niggas. We used you feel me? I was hooping <laughs> and real. you was hooping in Pradas. You feel me? Like Hey, talk your shit. And the people that I used to think that was gonna be real rappers back then, shout out to uh Bruce Santana, uh mm-hmm. Bruce Realtor. I don't know if you know who that is. No, uh, I wasn't I wasn't really tapped yeah, in. Yeah, but my uh, they went to Vallejo High. Okay. But, uh Bruce, they was because they used to be with Young Day. Yeah. So they was the up against the world, man. Them niggas was really rapping for real. Oh, I'm gonna keep smacking this. Okay. Uh, they was really rapping for real. Like I remember seeing them AAU tournaments, Edward, all of us in the room. Right. And Bruce in there rapping bar for bar for bar for bar for bar. You mm-hmm. feel me? And Tanner right there ad libbing. You feel me? Like it's I, been ta- it's been talent. But out then here. it's di- it changes. You feel me? And it shout evolves. out to Sauce. Right. Sauce going crazy with uh, his comedy, man. I would have thought you would have been rapping too by now too, man. Like. We're just proud. I'm proud of everybody in the V for real. Everybody doing what they supposed to do. And and that's what What's the Wave is here for. Like at the end of the day, I, I can't wait to tap into a lot of people who I haven't been exposed to, even in Vallejo, because there's hidden talent still to me. And I feel like I know a lot and, and know a lot of people and stuff like that. And I feel like I'm really pretty well connected. But at the end of the day, there's so many other people who know other people that know more talent, that got more gems, that got more this and that, that got more sauce, that got more juice, that you feel me? I'm I'm ready to just expose it and, and put it we on go, the forefront. We go put it right here, right now, in the V. Don't nobody got more sauce. Come on. Than, we here is too, Mr. Than it's too much. Beyond Deadstock DP. Whoo. Not right there in this town. I, you can oh, say you what you, cap. you, you can the, say what you, you want. Cap, man. You can say I've been swaggy, I've been clean. I didn't always have my I, own stuff, but gonna when have it to comes snip to it, being I'm gonna have to so- snip it and send it to this boy just so yeah. he know it's on record. It's on like if you it's from there. Vallejo, California, I man. Say I, have and to you, shout out, I have to shout out Vintage Variation because my boy, my boy, and his his drip is up there. Like mm-hmm. I said, let me let, let me give my boy his flowers as well. My boy Vintage Variation, he's doing his thing. His drip is up there. Don't play with my my guy. But that stock DP is. He's about to say he's doing his thing as well. Hey, Dead Stock DP, come on! That's and, and like I said, and we can talk about the music shit, the the fashion shit. Um, let's he, just, next, he the next wave for real too, man. Let's, uh, let's get into wave. let's get into uh, some TV and some movie shit. 
Um, I wish I could bring up maybe even some names uh, locally wise as far as acting type shit, but I can even like I said, just knowing our personalities, I'm pretty sure you dreamt to be an actor or anything like that. Oh so. yeah, I thought I was gonna. Be, I would. I really wanted to be. I like still to this day. I feel like if I had the opportunity to be in the Same. movie. I'll probably kill Same. it. I'll kill it. Same. A lot of people tell me that, and I don't even be like, oh, yeah, I know I'll kill it, but, you know, I humbly, you know, accept that. But I would love to act. I love all that shit. Um, but as far as acting in movies, recently, what have you been watching? I know I know you got a couple little ones, so have you been able to, to go out to the movies and catch the new, you know, like new Marvel shit, new scary movies, uh, anything like that? Or has it yeah, still I've been, been driving? I've been seeing Paw not- Patrol or anything? Uh, I've been seeing a lot of new movies. I've seen Candyman. Come on. Uh, Candyman was a cool movie. How you like it? Because I love the original. I, I like the original. original. I, Candyman cool. It was like, it wasn't that, I wasn't scared though. You feel me? Got like, you. Got maybe because I'm a grown man now. Like, right. But I still, as a grown man, I still want to watch the first Candyman regularly. You feel me? Yeah, like, that, that, that got a special hold on me as no. well. <laughs> like, that ain't That, that ain't got going. a special hold on me as well. For sure, for sure. Uh, but what's been going down? Or even seeing some new trailers for some movies. Um, I didn't see the new Fast and the Furious because I be seeing. I, I seen it. It was. It's just. It's a lot. My big brother. It's, it's a lot. lot. My it's big brother was like. I, my big brother like, I think it's the best one of the niggas ever did. I'm like, <laughs> I, nigga, what? I don't know. It's, <laughs> well, I don't know though. I see about that. I'm gonna watch it. Uh, mm-hmm. What other they, new they movies? They're coming out with a new uh, Michael Myers. They're coming out with a new Halloween. I movie. want to see that, but what's that one? I went to the movies and seen. I didn't go to the movies. Uh, I seen it on. Uh, it's Which like one? one of them little a- apps on that you can that, just go um, on and watch new movies. They got that. Don't breathe. Too. Don't breathe too. Don't That's breathe what too. I seen. That's it? Don't breathe too, got boy. It. I fucks with that movie. Thank you, because I fuck with the first one. The first one was nice. Everybody was telling me to watch nice. the first you one. You ain't seen the first one. Mm-hmm. I just went straight to the second. Oh, the first one. Now you're gonna really appreciate the first one. I feel if you like the second one already, is it the same storyline playing into it the should, second one. It should. It should be the way it is. The way it seems like it's set up. It should be playing. So the same the dude one. inside the second one. Not to spoil y'all. Yeah, movie. but the blind, the blind, the blind nigga is the same blind nigga for the first one, and we'll just he did some crazy shit in the first one, and the second one probably gets crazier. You didn't see the second one? No, not yet. I need to. Boy, <laughs> I ain't even fed of y'all talking about. I ain't even gonna do you like to. that, but I need to. That, sure, d- sure. that second one is him. If you want to see a movie that doesn't scare you, but kind of like get you on a your thriller, feet, a thriller, a thriller, but the gruesomeness, the, yeah, I need the, that. It go crazy. Put boy. me in the game, coach. I'm gonna need to be. be I'm just gonna tell you this. Go ahead. When you watch it, you gonna be like, and you gonna be like, oh yeah, fuck that, fuck that blind nigga. Then if he doing that, yeah, get that, and then you go like, oh. I hope this motherfucker See, go. thank you because I seen a little snippet and that's what the the uh, director and shit wanted. They was like, because everybody damn near in the wrong in the movie. Everybody in the wrong. So that's what I was saying. He was like, he was like everybody, everybody in the wrong in the movie, up. basically. I'm like, damn, so you can pick who you want to fuck with. This little girl really got issues because y'all motherfuckers, <laughs> boy. I'm like, damn, I feel sorry for her. Everybody fucked up. Okay. Hey, that, that's how you feel. Everybody, everybody in the in wrong. wrong. So you got to pick who you fuck with. You gotta pick who you fuck with. And I who the, more than wrong? I, I picked the blind nigga, blood. Okay. <laughs> I can't wait to watch it. Cause I'm a, I'm gonna call this nigga too. Like, I wanna hey. tell you so bad. <laughs> I wanna tell you, bro. I'm like, damn, bro. This niggas is they're scandalous. They're scandalous. They scandalous. scandalous. It make you be like, the I ain't gonna no, say it cause we have a podcast. Cause you haven't seen the first one. Snip it I'm like, fucking white people. Fuck. Hey, no, say it. Cause the first one, you'd be like, oh, it's just a little break in, break in entry movie. Oh, this nigga was. Oh, oh, yeah, that nigga was doing some shit. The okay. blind nigga? The blind nigga was doing? But why he saw raw ass shit? He was in the military for real? He, yeah, he was on some. The, the Navy SEAL shit? He was on some haunted house type shit. They broke in his house trying. Okay, we not even. I'm. We're going to keep moving for podcast Bro, watch purposes. This don't breathe watch series. Don't breathe both Because you two. see how I got the, us feeling, boy. Um, That's crazy. Whew, you got to watch that second one. Because just like how you explained it, the first, the everybody the in the wrong. <laughs> Everybody, everybody fucked up so you just gotta really pick a side and you really don't want to pick a side you really just wanna I wanna kill everybody fuck all these fuck, niggas fuck everybody cause that little girl don't deserve that shit that's how it's always fucked up that happened to the little baby girl every time um let's let's get into some other shit you say no black little girl come on she was white <laughs> factual <laughs> factual we, we, it wasn't no niggers mm. getting harmed. Mm. No niggers are harmed. We're harmed in the, harmed in the making movie. of this movie at all. No <laughs> niggers are harmed in the making of this film. Uh, let's talk some sports. Let's talk some sports. You feel me? Uh, <laughs> hey, that's hella funny. NBA. Um, I know you as a hooper at heart. 
me personally, just the way I know My you. My first love. Um, um, for surely, for surely. So definitely want to talk about some um, NBA hoop as well. The Hall of Fame just got inducted this past week. Um, how do you feel about that? Ben Wallace, Paul Pierce, you feel me, Chris Bosh. Ben Couple Wallace coaches. for sure, because we got the same last name, man. Yeah, nice talk to lies to people. Talk your That's shit. my big cousin. I'm playing. Now, uh, but now, mm. Ben Wallace for sure, just mm-hmm. because the Pistons, uh, they was really, uh, the, that was unexpected. Dogs. They was dogs. They, they've, been they dogs, was dogs. they've been dogs in different eras. But they, they've been the, the Isaiah Thomas, I bad boys, and then the, the 2000s. With you. I didn't even know Ben. Like, I knew what? because I was raised, I was born what? that time, but as a nigga get older, drinking uh, and smoking, I'd be like, oh yeah, this nigga did get a ring. You feel me? Like, nigga, I'm a skateboarder and I knew that. Come on now. Be honest with you, bro. If it wasn't about Jamal Crawford, <laughs> hey, he, I don't know. My favorite player. Who should still but, be in the league. That's who should still be in the league the at the age is, of 52, think, 53. He's still if I'm be wrong, but the reason why I was going for the Suns mm-hmm. last year was because he had a veterans deal with the Suns. Yep. And the year before that, he played with them, but he was on a two-year contract, and he mm-hmm. didn't play the second season. Mm-hmm. But I think if they would have won, he would end up getting the ring. Then he would have been able to get inducted into that. the Hall of Fame because he'd been six man of the year for hell of time. Hell of time. And that's really my favorite player, for real, for real. Like, Jamal Crawford is the coldest man with a basketball, cold, period. Cold. Icy. Cold. Been icy. Been icy. But shout out to the Hall of Fame. You, you seen, uh, shout out to Paul Pierce. You seen the the rampage he been on. My boy Jay just showed me a video the other day when he's at the poker table. You ain't seen oh, that? Yeah, yeah, I seen howling that. At, howling at the little show. He talking about you need, some, is, he, you need some help. He, he needs first some off, help. He was... If I was rich, old, and I'm retired, say he's cutting up I be, lately. I be cutting up too. He's cu- but from going from life. being an analyst, you kind of on the jump type shit to where he at now. He like yeah, but fuck the thing it. is, in the world we live in, like, where everything it. is subjective, like everything is displayed to you. Period. To your yeah. kids, nothing is being hidden anymore. So it's like, why yeah. hide who you are? Facts. Why be? Why hold my tongue and why not be myself where I really am? Why my friends, all these GMs and everybody around me love me for being this person? Because now he's not in the business of it, so he probably really just like... I can really cut up. I don't need and to... And then I, I got cheese. I don't have no responsibility to nobody. I can't blame him. You're right. I, can I, can't, I, can't, I, can't, blame, I can't blame him. If I was rich... One. And I'm a Hall of Famer. I'm a, if I'm a rich Hall of Famer, and I can <laughs> go all I can Hall walk of anywhere in the room. Oh, sports team. Know me about. Um, like I said, I understand you're not the big NFL person. You always rep the uh, the Bay Area. I like Jam- I like Lamar Jackson though. So if I want anybody in the NFL to go to the Super Bowl, I want the uh, Ravens to go. Okay, Lamar Jackson. Lamar. Shout out Lamar. He's he's been doing his thing. Patty Mahomes been doing his thing. You know, I'm a, I'm a LA Charger fan, even though I'm Bay Rays and shit like that. I'm a LA Charger fan. Which is uh, everybody find kind of crazy and pull me off the bandwagon, but hey, we no. we here to make some noise. We got I'll our first win today. It's NFL Sunday. Um, most of my viewers know we record on Sunday. Try to get this out, you know, midweek. But first Sunday of the year, NFL season. Did you watch any football today? No. Nah. After I took my mom out to breakfast. Shout um, out moms. And shout out my mama. Took her out to eat. Uh, out in uh around the city, um, and then I went home mm-hmm. and took a nap. Yeah. <laughs> Best thing of the day. And then I woke up and came to you. And then so, we here. And now we working. And then we doing it. I've been we doing it know, good. Going through um, car shit. Did, <laughs> hey, did, did butter. Did going did through butter. car shit. I was like, fuck it. I need to get drunk and lay down. So <laughs> I got, hey, went and have some mimosas with my mama. And that's what we hear. That sounds like a, a wonderful Sunday, just just to say. Oh, yeah. Uh, I ain't when I, I never, you know, when you get older, you start doing shit you ain't never thought you'd be able to do with your parents, you know. So able to. Go out to eat with my mama. Of course, we always do that, but like getting drunk. Getting drunk with moms. With exactly. moms and moms talking and you telling right. her like, stop talking like that type right, shit. Right, Because she getting too comfortable. We ain't friends, nigga. I'm your right. son. She over here trying to spit game at the waiter. Moms. Not even spit game at the waiter. Relax. She be like, well, go ahead and Kim. I'm about to give me a white man because we in fucking Walnut Creek. That's some, you, And that's how you know them mimosas talking. The mimosas. The mimosas. Know, how, you, never, you never thought you'd see moms off the mimosas, huh? That don't think my mama talk about a white man. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, fuck that, nigga. My mama drink That's at factual. home, nigga. I just don't factual. want her, nigga. The fuck, but I rather her do that. I don't want no big ass black nigga I can't beat up coming in the house. You ain't lying. I want to be on every nigga that come that fucks with my mama. I got to be able to beat the fuck up. <laughs> so, nigga. She better get a Filipino. Oh, oh, <laughs> hey, <laughs> we ain't gonna get into it, but we damn near gotta get, get into, into it. it. Why, why you gotta do moms like that? Like, what, what if she want to live? What if she want a big ball? You feel me, uh, Melvin? Melvin. I was just about to say, you know, she wanted a Melvin. Uh, what if she wanted a Melvin? Pop- hey, but you know he a pop. Ah, uh, pop Melvin. I was- <laughs> 
<laughs> nigga, you ain't about to be in here. I might not pack you out with my mama, mama nigga. I first time I heard a do, nigga. I'm kicking in the door. We ain't nigga, you better that. love my mama. She ain't no hoe. Never that. Nah, man. beat Melvin up. You about to hit the frog on my mama. <laughs> Every time Just I come in here, touch. I try, nah, to be, nah, nah. try to be a good civilized individual. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, remember when that nigga was goosey? That nigga was doo doo. Oh, <laughs> the frog. The, yeah, that nigga no. was doing the frog with if that nigga mama. If I'm at mama. home, nigga, I'm kicking doors down. I'm, I'm popping that nigga. Caps, nigga. You ain't about to goose my mama, nigga. Nah, like that. Nah, nah, I, I can't not, not like I that. I better not hear a peep, nigga. Ah, uh, nigga. Okay, <laughs> we, we could we could do a move in it too. Something. <laughs> the, uh, hey, whatever this is, got niggas on. That's it. Cast. Shout out Casadores. Sponsor me, bitch. Who sponsor me, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I've been, I've been on tequila it. a lot lately. What, hey, what, what, what's been your drink of choice? We can get into it. Man, I went through my phases of different drinks because you know, not to say it like this, but if anybody that watches this podcast that know me know I drink for real. Uh, yeah. yeah, if you know me, you know what I do as well. So go ahead. drink niggas mm-hmm. older. I didn't, but I didn't get drunk until I really turned twenty one. Same, same, real shit, it's boy. Like you know, it. you know me. I've, I've been a smoker. I've been a smoker, and then as I got older, like I said, I had parents who drank and shit like that. I was like, I don't want to do that, but I drink it. I remember from going, saying I never drink beer to now. I will I'll crave it. I'll, I'll take a Modelo or... I'll uh, crave a Stella Artois, nigga, every now and again. You feel me? So I go to the bar, and I, uh, it's a Taco Tuesday where I go to sometimes. Uh, nigga, I'll go and get a Corona and like six tacos. I'm tell- It'd be refreshing. I'm going to tell, tell you the place when we go uh, for a dollar, too. Good-ass tacos for a dollar. Out here? Uh, it's around. It's okay. Like I said, yeah, we'll, we'll a, keep we can let you know. You know, you don't want to be eating the niggas running up on you. That part. Good, good, but, good, good point. But, but uh, not running up on you like, hey, Dylan. You yeah. don't want to run across. You. When I go here, it's nothing but white people. You feel me? It's wonderful, wonderful. Just relax them. But let's get into um, you. Come on, we're going to direct this more towards you and what you got going on. We've touched on it multiple times just through the current events and the sports segment. Dipped in butter. We here. Um, the this is this is your brand. How does it yeah, this feel? Is my, uh, How dream. does it feel to to be a a brand owner, a brand uh, connoisseur, damn near entrepreneur? Because um, this is going in many different lanes, for sure, for sure. So please just ex- explain to me kind of the start of it. Where did this vision start? Kind of take off um, for you and dipped in butter. Uh, where would dipped in butter start, man? To be honest with you, one hundred percent. It was around like twenty. Uh, 15 uh currency had just came out with his raps and lowriders vlogs gotcha i don't know if you ever seen it but definitely uh, have yeah you know you know he do the car meets and mm-hmm. niggas come get drunk and high and parlay and play you mm-hmm. feel me at For the sure. lake and he low ride and shit and at this time you know i was at this peak of my life and feeling like i'm like i was becoming a man right um i had my own apartment with my roommate shout out marvin chooks uh, from getting Benicia. out, getting grown. Start drifting. I had bought my first 240. You feel me? Okay. Um, and every day, uh, I was working at, Veri- at a third party Verizon in Berkeley at that time. But uh, I'm sitting in the house every day, uh, Chromecasting, watching mm. fucking rap some lowriders. And I'm like, man, if I do this for the Bay Area, man, and just like my passion. Like, not it's, even like this. I was like, if I do. Up. I, if I, we. Know we the cleanest niggas in the universe, so it's Ooh, like when it comes to that shit, we we, we got we, some shit to talk. Overall, and everything, and we more player than everybody in this world. You feel cars, me? fashion, music, the game, art, everything. Come on. So it's like nigga, uh, we paved the way for a lot of shit. I was like, man, if I was to do this for the bay, this should be hard. Um, but I really started thinking about Dick and Butter twenty uh, twelve mm-hmm. when I got my first Mustang. Okay. Uh, shout out to Terry and Nefertiti, Mama D. Um, he got me my first drop Mustang. I was in high school. Um, I was selling shoes and shit to get the car. Mm-hmm. Um, it had a Cobra in it and shit. And I never, I drove to school a couple times, did some donuts in it. Um, yeah. but most of the time I was really just driving around. Uh, it was a stick, you know, mom's was really strict back then. So she didn't really let want me to get in trouble. That makes sense. Makes sense. Um, Always how mamas do. So yeah, I, that car is really my first love. And I used to uh, daydream every day, bro. Just like when, even when I first started smoking in high school, like yeah. when I was sitting, you know, when niggas was getting hit with yeah. them punches, because yeah. niggas never be that high again, boy. But <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was thinking about like cars and riding and yeah. listening to music and. Uh, then when Raps and Lowriders came out, that's what made that dream like them. Kind of that little, little spark. 
Yeah, but then after that, I, I was that's always what I wanted to do is do a dip and butter. Like you feel me, build a brand around us, the Bay Area, being how clean we, how clean we is. Mm-hmm. Uh, Everybody know we got the cleanest cars, huh. the best females, the huh. most game type people, huh. the best weed, uh, the, the best, best women, weed, the best all of that. everything. You feel me? We from the California coast, beaches and bridges. You feel me? Shout out Mac Dre. You always, feel me? And shout out always. my dad. Shout out Miami the most. Always, um, always. But at, niggas don't know who started this shit. Niggas don't. Niggas know we the sideshow kings of the world, but niggas don't know who started Please the sideshow shit. That niggas know shit. we got the best weed in the world, but niggas don't know what started this shit. What cannabis clubs niggas was going to mm-hmm. that was first legal. Not mm-hmm. even that. Just niggas don't know what started this base shit. The barrier culture. Everybody just do the culture. You feel me? Because we follow behind it, but don't everybody know? Like you feel me? Who them niggas is? You feel them me? Real so, hustlers. I seen some shit today just on the internet where, um, like just reminding motherfuckers where uh, Master P got his game about being an independent artist. He got that shit from E Forty. Yeah, in Richmond. Yeah, living in he, Richmond. He got that shit from the Bay Area. So little shit like that. Like you said, real niggas Zay been Tovin. out here. Zay Tovin even said when Come he went, on. he moved out to Atlanta and made so icy beat. And then he, you feel me? Like and I just moved from the Bay. That's what he said. You feel me? So it's like. We really the originators of a the lot of bay shit. The Bay is the base. I'm about to say, I'm about to coin that. We about to put that on the shirt next. The Bay is the base because we the foundation for everything. Really? It's really it's really factual. We got too we much evidence. Uh, Soldier Boy acting like he the first to do it all. Nah, the Bay is. Soldier Boy the first nigga to do a lot of shit, but not the first nigga to be a player. For uh, sure. For come sure. on, talk come that to shit. the Bay then. Um, um, keeping it going on dipped in butter. Where was one of those kind of moments where it kind of clicked and you was like, okay, this is. What I what I want to do, you just kind of uh, tapped into it, just your experience over over the years. But where was it like, okay, I want to I want to brand it, I want to kind of build off of it. You always had a love for cars um, and stuff like that. Where was kind of that moment? At what time period? Um, be honest with you, man. I was talking about it for years, but I was always on a money chase. Yeah. Always trying to, you know, because you know, that get us, it get us shout all out to up. my two beautiful babies, Nova Trine, uh, Nova Trine Wallace and Kim Antonio Wallace Jr. You Come feel on. me, Nova Jr. Because she looked just like me. Um, <laughs> Facts. It was Facts. really uh, for real, for real. My dog looked just like me, my Facts. dog, and those is my my limelights for real. Those mm-hmm. are the things that keep me uh, a purpose to live. Mm-hmm. Uh, the reason why I move the way I move when I tell myself not to go. Yes, somewhere sir. I don't go because all it is is to see my kids at this age I'm at right now. The number one priority. That's the number one priority for real, for real, for real. So, uh, uh, be honest with you, man. What was that? Was that your that motivation? Moment, kinda, that was my motivation. But the real when they thing, came and you was like, I need to. I didn't even start it then. I was just mm-hmm. really hustling, trying to make sure I could get in the best life. Mm-hmm. You feel me? And then I went, like I said, I went full custody of my daughter at a young age. Mm-hmm. I was like 21. Yeah. So I was, I had to really. Sacrifice a whole lot to be the daddy that Facts. I am. You feel Actual, me? But um, that's, nah. That's be honest lot. with you, bro. Uh, shout out to my cousin. He right here on my neck. Uh, shout out, Lord Jocko. Uh, for sure. This the dream that when we was sitting there broke and hungry together. Uh, this was my everyday nigga. I did everything with uh, the females to getting drunk to going everywhere. Like everything I did was with Lord Jocko. You mm-hmm. feel me? Uh. And I, I just felt like I needed to do my dream. And he told me, nigga, do it. You feel me? Like, nigga, stop playing. You bullshitting. You feel me? He was the first nigga to stay going. Like, you feel me? Talk shit. Go bad on a right. nigga. You feel me? Right, Not right. even go bad. Just talk but that, shit. But that's your he brother. You know, kept it real. Yeah, he kept it always real was like, nigga, you playing. Nigga, you don't want to be dipped in butter, nigga. You playing, nigga. Or he'd be like, nigga, I'm finna start dipped in butter because you playing. You right, feel me? Right. Um, drifting. He was always in the car with me. Yeah. Um, this nigga, basically, uh, I always told him, bro, I can't start no dipped and butter brand, and I ain't got no dipped and butter car. You feel me? So hmm. that's why 2018 that's and 2019, uh, I started my drift car, my 240. Right. I started building that. But uh, I started, I just, not say I gave, I didn't give up on it. I just was like, nigga, I didn't put too much money into this shit, and it still ain't done. I start worrying about other shit. And right. Life happens, you know, takes so the time. So then I just start be like, man, now I just got to worry about where I'm going to keep it. So I'm switching right, it from right. partner houses to females i was talking to houses mm-hmm. and all types of shit um and then when little jock passed i was like uh i'm gonna have to do something that make me happy because right. he was re- i was really down you feel me mm-hmm. um and then uh i had got topanga 
Ooh, I got I my see Topanga today for the first time in person, and let me <laughs> tell y'all, she is a bad little piece of work. Yeah. I know she needed, like you said, we we talked oh, about yeah. it off camera. That's she needed, I've been, she drive, needed a little I've been bit driving more. her hella hard, doing yeah. donut center and hella other shit. She needs but, some little maintenance, but oh my gosh! Yeah, I got a ninety-one Fox Body Mustang, one of these Calypso mm. green, same mm. same rims. Mm. That's on that mm. shirt. Mm. Um, the Calypso Green make you thirsty. Just looking at a goddamn, I'm telling know, you, yeah, boy. she hella clean, man. I went and uh, I got her. Rest in peace, Lord Earn, because I had took another loss this year. You feel me? And um, I was originally go get an SRT8 truck. Okay. Shout out, rest in peace, Germ, because um, he had one, and I was gonna get one, and we was talking. To, I was gonna tell he was he had two Bonnyvilles, and I was like, sell me one so I could have the truck. And you feel and me the, the match, Bonnieville. And the thing. So we could be twins, you feel mm-hmm. me? And he was uh he was thinking about it. Then he was like, nah, I don't want to, then buy this. You know, he was showing me other whips and shit. But I was gonna get the SRT8 truck, but the truck had got complications on it. Right, right. So I went the next day after I got my money, went to Vegas, got to Panga, got my Mustang. Um, and then I was like, I'm dipped in butter now. And yeah, you had to like you said, you had the butter to back up, back it but up. I had this logo right here. Shout out Nish Art. Um, my brother Nish, man, shout out him. He does, uh, you know, GT, the rapper. Mm-hmm. He does all his artwork for him, okay. his merch. Okay. Um, he's his creative director. He did some shit for Babyface Ray. Um, he did a big pop up shop in Detroit. It was successful. Uh, shout out MCD Boys. Shout out uh, Lou Graham. If Sound you like uh, he's working, he's working. Yeah. Uh, if you see him when him and Team Inside Peas was just out here, they had on Ego Dead clothes. Uh, I believe it's on the 18th. He has a pop up shop in Oakland. And my bro Come Nish. on, this man is well connected and well respected. Yeah, Come on, talk your <laughs> shit. Nah, Come Nish on. is just a real cool ass dude. That's what's real. up. Come I met on. him through uh, Nando and Oski. Um, it's all love. You know it's artwork. all love. But uh, when he, I met him through them, but me and him connected on a different level. You know, yeah, yeah. just being more personal shit. You know, not nah, just personal shit, but just really being uh, a genuine person, being genuine people. Always, you show love to people that show love to you, and they go always have Facts. your back. That's all it is. You feel me? Always, just always show love to people that show love to you because they going out their way to let you know that they fuck with you. You feel me? And always. niggas don't gotta, don't got to do that. Nobody in this world got to love you, niggas. So appreciate the people that niggas do. don't owe you shit when you come in this motherfucker for sure at all. You born by yourself, you die by yourself. So the niggas that love you here while you here, just appreciate the people that appreciate your presence. Appreciate it because it's a lot of motherfuckers that might think I'm annoying, don't like you know, mm. all types of shit. But the people mm. that think I'm amazing, I love them. You feel me for real, for real. I even love the people that think I'm annoying because shit, you thinking about me. Hey, at the end um, of the day, um, but. Even that's a perfect segue um, kind of to what you were talking about and I, w- I want to get into because I want to ask you about one of those challenging moments where there has been since you started the brand because I see that a lot of those kind of life moments have impacted you into propelling you into doing what you've been doing with yeah, the car shit with the brand. Everything makes me want to go harder. You yeah. Know what I mean? so, so, and even if you want to get into it, whether too deeply or just keep it surface level, um, one of those challenge moments after you kind of got dipped in butter going whether it was like the car because i can even that's a, a perfect example right there where there's getting the car to to show yeah, motherfuckers show, like yeah, i'm about it i'm about it what's yeah. another kind of just challenging moment where you was like i need this to show motherfuckers that i'm serious or i need this to show myself i'm serious or to just overcome that the, hill the only obstacle i felt like was, i'm going is man be honest with you god been blessing me man like hmm uh, the obstacle I got is just drop. I got the designs. I got the people mm-hmm. uh, that just that supported me and got my back. I just got to be more consistent because then I like you know niggas got jobs. If you've been watching What's the Wave and you know me, you know that's one of the hardest parts about being a a a, a brand, a business is being consistent. You you are now a a creator of content. Whether it be what I'm doing virtually or just doing, you know, videos and and and, and vocal shit, you're a producer of content now. You got a brand. Be, you I want to be consistent, but at the same time, I don't want to be hella consistent because I want this shit to be a rarity. You mm. feel me? Like it's the first Bay Area. Say that. It's Say the first that. Bay Area car sideshow brand. You yeah. feel me? Like you tapped in your own space. You really tapped in your own space. All type of shit. This is like nigga knives in the drift game. You feel me? Like okay. this is like. Yeah, I'm trying to do a magazine like the old Mother Dog magazines where I interview rappers, cars, boutiques, and other things. Instead, mm. of, like I was gonna do a YouTube about it, but it's like it's hard to get you know people to record all the time, people mm. that to edit your shit and have it done when you want to be done. But Facts. if I could pay some, if I could go to the boutiques 
the clothes mm -hmm. boutiques, the right. clothes people that sell clothes, like DP and Latino Kicks and other people like that, uh, and Good Gear 22, shout out Tyron. Mm -hmm. um, which call if I get the clo the garages, raw performances, just and that networking, that, that, yeah, and I get them in these magazines and I sell the magazines when I sell the merch. You feel me? That's easier than trying to do a YouTube. You Facts. feel me? Like hey, it's man. not even the same as easy to do a YouTube. But, but, just, but even what you just telling me, that's my lane. It's though. there. It's like there. I said, and, and like, even what I'm, you just telling me, you see it already. Just from what you're saying, you see it. It is just the logistics it is the the paperwork the plan the footwork the manpower yeah, yeah like all of that that's like what this it podcast takes. is amazing like you doing you do you going and, crazy and, and shout out real productions for it like i said i always say what's the wave is not shout myself production i gotta real shout real. out real productions because it's not just me at the end of the day um like you said it is the support the team the people at the end of the day that that builds you and helps you become who you also want to become because motherfuckers can't get over you personally and professionally you feel me? At the end of the day, just do a quick little business with you and just get over it. I, I, like you said, hit the little aki aki. But at the end of the day, you want to build something genuine with a motherfucker at the And that's what's going to create the best content. going to get you way longer and farther, man. That's the one thing I can say that separates me from a lot of people. I'm very genuine. Come, uh, it's, it's rare. And sometimes my genuineness and my excitement make motherfuckers don't like me. Uh, but hmm. uh, you ain't lying about day, that one. That's a good the, point. The motherfuckers that love me go love me. You feel me? And if I'm excited, I'm genuine, I'm goofy around you, it's because, nigga, I appreciate you and because I'm, I can't really be myself around other people, so I, I appreciate you for letting me be myself. And you um, see, that's what What's the Wave is all trying to cultivate. Uh, hopefully, the audience sees it. Thank everybody who's watching and supporting always because, you know, every guest I bring on, I bring y'all here to just make y'all feel comfortable at the end of the day and bring the real you at the end of the day because you don't, ha you don't have to come here. There's no reason... For you to show up you don't have to come support what i'm doing or anything so i appreciate you for that and appreciate you for feeling comfortable and open up in the way that you do um uh, but back to you and the brand um oh yeah back to this shit. give me a feel good moment give me a feel good moment uh, where if, where it clicked where uh you even talk about one of the car meets where there's somebody uh, supporting you who you never good. thought would come on give me a feel first good moment. car meet felt hella good because my folks was there yeah uh shout out teflon Antoine, shout out Vito, shout out shot shout out neft the pharaoh shout I would out say, uh what's the wave is definitely 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 salty we couldn't show up but it's okay we'll be at the yeah, next one we'll be at the real. next one it's but go ahead though. shout out my nigga mob shout out chris the fifth hmm. uh shout out uh george shout out everybody that showed up to my car me shout out alex visuals alex visuals man follow him Talk on it. instagram uh Talk he's the very good professional uh photographer shout out shop uh by razor uh he family but you know he does very good video hey, razor work. whenever you want to hop on the podcast bro we ready for you as well shout out to Vallejo, man we working yeah I'm, I'm, he gonna see this it's, it's gonna happen for Come sure on. for sure we working um but really, it was just fam and people that showed up, you feel me, and supported me. So I was happy to actually get my brand out there. My dream that I talked, shout out Niche Art. I had this design in my phone since like uh, December or January of this year. Um, I, I fuck with this one. Yeah, that I one. I fuck with this one because you got, like you said, you showing a little bit of a I'm going to tell you how shit. I made that one. And you know, like I said, we 5.0. I'm a, I'm a 5.0 person, me personally. If you know me for real, I've been having Mustangs all my life. You feel me? Ooh. I've been fucking with cars all my Saucy. life. Sauce is um, This was in there. I told Nish I wanted to do a dunk tee. Mm -hmm. um, a dunk hoodie, I mean. And I wanted it to be something different. I sent him a couple pictures on Instagram, and this is what he came up with with my logo over it. Mm -hmm. uh, shout out B Gigs. Yeah, definitely, definitely. He he originally made me the dipped and butter logo like 2017. Hmm. Um, but it with the with the dripping, but this wasn't like how it was. Right. It was just white ink, the regular dipped. And it just and had to get kind of revamped, you know, tuned up a little it got bit over time. Revamped by Nish Art, you know. Right, that's you what's up. So I'm like, about to say, just all making gigs, a better product. B gig, B gigs put it together, uh, and. Niche, niche art finish it hit it with, it with the with parsley the on top you feel the, me exactly yeah, the, yeah, i'm talking about so shout out niche art and b gigs you feel me b gigs is a Vallejo legend already i've you feel ooh, me so, i've seen too much work from that man like and i i don't know him personally or anything but just like it, i said salute hey, to everything you've been working with got, for sure, for i didn't sure. got baptized with this nigga man we did all went to the same church tabernacle of day and, and just like i said just know just knowing Vallejo and if you know Vallejo and you know people here you know b gigs name if you don't i don't know where you've been yeah, at, for sure for sure hey bj that 
do. Period. It's okay. I'm like I said, we gonna elevate, and I'm 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 gonna tap in. We gonna tap in. Hopefully, I can every, end, up, end up getting him on here or end every, up getting on his shit. This everything's all accessible, but my man, it's all especially love. getting the Valero niggas, always yeah, accessible. You know it's love. But uh, yeah, uh, I did this one, and then I did a crew neck with mm-hmm. it says dipped in butter in the front, and then it's a skull head with a, a, a Nissan Skyline, and then a hatch. I feel like I'm inside okay. of there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I dropped those. I dropped this one at a car meet. Oh, I, I put Fox Body Lifestyle. Shout out my brother Armand. He has, that's his Instagram, Fox Body Lifestyle. I need that uh, green one. You know I need that green one. Though. Yeah, I got you. Shout out uh, Drop Top Rego. Okay. Um, my partner from Fairfield, he a young man. He's he like 18, 19, got a Mustang. But uh, right. we did a car meet together. And and shout out my partner Nico. Uh, yeah, just to ahead. talk about it. Uh, Nico, when I first told him about Dipped in Butter, he just started making stuff and sent it to me. Uh-huh. Off the love, right, right. So I had this on my phone for some years. Uh, this dipped in butter popcorn. So I was y'all like, see it, y'all see the dipped in butter popcorn because you feel me, you can't have no popcorn without the butter. Exactly. Anyways, so, and always, you feel me. So I was like, man, that'd be cool to just put it on the front of pocket tee. You feel me? And then, uh, uh, shout out my brother Muhammad. If you went to Jesse Bethel class of 2011, uh, you know Muhammad, man. He, Come on. He owned a lot of st- he, he running a lot of stores right now in the mall with toys and hats and all types of stuff. Talk your shit. Uh, he Shout made out this, I sent him the pictures and my logo and I told him how I wanted it to be and he made he put the uh flags no. behind. He made it how he made this shirt for real come to life. The um, designs has been been solid. The shit you've been dropping, some, you know, I fuck with the green shit. hoodie. I couldn't like this this shit is the more expensive shit because right. his shit is a hand drawn raw picture. Um, and it's harder to get. It's more expensive to get. Absolutely. Um, so that's why his shit will always be more exclusive than other people's shit. But, but hey, we pay for quality over here. You feel me? But at Muhammad is still hard. He did that for me, and um, I respect him for doing that. I love him for doing that. And uh, that was for Carmen. I still got these shirts. Mm-hmm. Um, I did a niche. Did another picture. Another one for me. Uh, I did my Minister Society tees. It comes out. Pre order start. Stop tomorrow. They started Friday. See? I don't even gotta say. I was going. I was just about to ask you what what's next. What's coming up for for uh, dipped in butter? So we can get into it. But go ahead, talk your shit. What's, uh, what's next? Di- what's coming merch, up next for dipped in butter? What's going on? It's a, a bunch of merch and events. Um, uh, right now I'm doing. I'm planning the next car meet. I want it to be sooner, because, but I'm having some technical difficulties with my car with my Mustang Topanga. It's okay. Uh, yeah, I was yeah we don't gotta get into it. But yeah, but, but it should be she be aware. She be ready. Keep so, your ears open. Keep your eyes uh, yeah, open as well. It's just more car soon. troubles. Remember, she's 31 years old. You feel me? Don't every 31 year old bitch fuck how she supposed to when she's 16. So Oof, talk uh, that shit, boy. You ain't lying about that. That's at 16, nigga. It's okay. But I was fucking she at 16. Got, she I was still got a pretty face on her. I was fucking at 16 though, so fuck it. Uh, hey, and Topanga's Topanga still got a pretty face on her, so she's gonna get some work. Hard, she gonna get me? some work. She's just a stepmother with some couple work on her. Mm. Uh, hmm. But Topanga, she got some shit going on. I'm going to fix her up. She ain't fucking how she was when she was younger. But merch, um, events, um, I'm ready. Because, I, like you said, I missed the last one. I'm, I'm ready for the next the one. right there that made me want to cry, though. Uh, I'm ready for that next one. So, I, I'm pretty I, sure you're ready to do it bigger teams, and better. Shout out to Money Green. Shout out to Golden Nugget. Shout out to Street Actions. Shout out to Max, Lil Max Contreras. Shout going. out to his daddy Max Payne. Keep it going. Um, shout out to my bro Ninety Three Killer. All of them. Um, shout out to Ethan Skates from the city. Um, shout out to my brother Armand Rigo. Uh, shout out to my bro well Connected. Well um, I forgot Lil Bro. He be tapping in with me all the time from the magazine. Uh, he from Santa Rosa, but he got the T top. Um, I forgot, mm-hmm. man. If I could, know, if I remember your Instagram right now, I would have said it. But uh, and then shout out uh, Moy Moy, the SRT boys. Okay. Uh, man, it's, shout out Chris. Uh, they be hanging. You know, they is it, shout out. Yeah, everybody. yeah I say you sound like you got a lot of people to shout, shout out. That's out, been man, showing you love. Everybody your thing. Everybody for show, for show, popping up, man. Shout out eating with uh my nigga June, mm-hmm. uh Juju. It's okay. Uh, but everybody, in. I like Fox Ten. Come on. But that one, man, that came. That one, I had like 65, 70 cars at that one, man. Alameda. It was beautiful. I seen Skyline, it through the socials and all Skylines that. Skylines came out. Shout out my nigga Alex Visuals again. I'm about came to say, out. Shout out and, Alex uh, for show. Sure. Took pictures. Came from a death store. Shout out. Shot by Razor, my little cousin. He did his thing, man. Uh, everybody. Shout out my nigga. 
Man, so shout many out, people. Shout out, shout out to all my folks. I was like, shout out to the love. Shout uh, out to the support. Shout out to my nigga Disco T Five uh, Ruby, man. That's, I love that. that nigga too, man. I uh, love that. And as you can see, just 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 the person you is just coming on the platform. You just gotta show love to everybody else. That's what I'm so glad yeah, you did. Yeah, because everybody that's what we came here for. and showed me love, man. And that was amazing. And man. and it was it was that's what mean the most. That's what mean it the most. It was 75 cars, 60, 75 in between there. Probably I'm gonna say about nothing. No cap, about 60. Seven people, sixty-eight people. Right. Um, hell of Mustangs. Yeah. Uh, more boy came with the SRT eight boys, so it was some Chargers and Hellcat steering shit. Mm -hmm. Um, shout out to the bro that came out with the R thirty three, the girl that came out with the R thirty three Skyline, and the boy that came. I uh, forgot your name, bro, but he came with the R thirty three. If you don't Skyline. know cars, I apologize for the shit you talking, but you'll understand the numbers and the letters a little bit later. Yeah, the Skylines is hard to get. They they never been in produced in the U S. You feel me? So uh, still, niggas got I, Nissan I Skylines. I love one of those. That's what I was saving up for, but I ended up buying Topanga. I was I was trying to. It's okay. I'm glad you did Topanga. I'm still glad you did that. Yeah, that was my first love. I had to get that's her. Part, I'm, that's I'm coming love. with the. Uh, I got the. I got the 240. That's gonna be done. I got it. I got the other car. I ain't gonna post what it is until it's done. Right. But right. I got another car I'm working on right now, and then after that, I'm getting the Skyline. Okay. Okay. Um. Hold on. Let's let's wrap it up for the folks. Bring it to the topic of the day because it's still car related and. As I said, I want to pick your brain about some more mechanical shit. The car culture in the Bay Area, um, I'm not having been too privy to it, and I'm not having been exposed to it as much lately or recently. So give me how you feel the car culture has been as of late, whether it has been either strictly in Vallejo or where you, at, where you have been at um, compared to like side shows back in the day to now. Because nowadays I hear that shit every other night, and it that could have been you know feel me in the early two thousands, you know late nineties and shit like that, where we've been you know kind of established ourselves as the king of that shit. But as a person who has you know your thumb a little bit more to that to that culture, how do you feel the car culture has been moving lately? So when I was when growing we from, up watching you know, cars, bro, we had donks and shit back in the day. But we still have side shows going crazy. Um, I love. That. I've only been to one. Too and I love I love I love cars. I want to learn how to drift, and I'm a, we gonna talk about My that. My first side show I went to, I was in the eighth grade. I lived in Berkeley. Um, my mama and us we moved on Otis Street next to the Ashby Bart. Uh, mm. Not seventh grade. I was seventh grade. Cause I moved it back to Vallejo seventh grade, eighth grade. But I was still going to school out here. Okay. Um, that's where I met uh, a lot of people. Travel, rest in peace, Tutu. Um, Thanks. A lot of people I used to work, I used to hoop with at Martin Luther King Park over there by Ashby Bart. Um, one night, my mom would then come home from work. She would stay there, and uh, it was my seventh grade year. Mm -hmm. We used to, I worked to the Berkeley Bowl. Off, it's Ashby, and then it's like around the corner is Berkeley Bowl and Walner, uh, or Walgreens. Gotcha. And next to Shattuck or down the street and all types of shit. You feel me? Where I used to go thrift shopping. Damn, near think I know you talking about. Okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Walking to the grocery store, going to Berkeley Bowl to give me a burrito or some Chinese food. One of those two. You feel me? And uh, I come back, and me and my brother was like, "Nigga, let's go hoop." Right. Now, Martin Luther King Park was the first park I ever seen that uh, next to the water fountain, you push your fingers in this hole and press this button in, the whole lights would come on around the whole park. So the basketball course would be open for us to hoop. Right. Uh, Lit up for everybody all night. I, that was the first place I ever beat my big brother in basketball at, right? So uh, Langston Morris Walker, uh, shout out to him. Niggas up with the Berkeley High, Josh Ames and shit like that. Mm. Uh, JaVale, um, who else? Nigga Nigel. Uh, mm -hmm. Tomas, people like that I grew up with out there uh, besides Tutu. Um, we used to hoop. And one night, me and my brother was hooping, and we walking home, and I just hear a car doing donuts going dumb. You feel me? I'm like 7th or 8th grade. Um, it was right by Ashby Bart. There was a liquor store next to the movie theater. And they was going dumb, swinging, swinging, swinging. And I'm like, and I've been loving cars. I'm like, I'm going to do that shit. I'm going to go crazy like that. My big brother was... He like I know you is nigga because you stupid you gonna do it. Ah, uh, at least he knew you. Yeah, exactly. But then uh, I used to watch Swain shit click. I, Go Dumb USA was the first shit to put niggas on. Go, go, you know Go Dumb USA the video. Of course. Everybody in the bay know that video. Everybody's doing donuts and shit. But the niggas I used to YouTube every day from middle school even through high school that was doing donuts mm -hmm. was Swain shit click from Sacramento. 
Okay. I'm not familiar. I'm unfamiliar. Swain shit click had 50s. It was a nigga named Chino. Okay. He had a silver notch back like this with yeah. black stripes, redder colors. Hmm. And then there was another nigga, uh, he had a, like a purplish blue color. Yeah. Them niggas had bars. Yeah. I always wanted to be one of them niggas. Okay. That's what I got my love for Mustangs. It's, when a, I was in it's a culture. For them. It's a real culture out here. Yeah. And then uh, shout out Coney from uh, my nigga, my nigga from Old Park, my brother right there, man. My nigga, my Ace Boom Coon, Pookie. Uh, I'll shout them niggas out. Shout out uh, Gary. Uh, facts, shout facts. out, but also shout out Coney. He going crazy right now. That nigga ruling the, he ruling the earth right now. Uh, appreciate you for sure, for sure, for the love you give me. Um, but yeah, nigga, niggas is. I wanted to do that like but, them niggas. But that was then. What about now? Now that you're you're able to kind of you're in that you're in that culture more well integrated. You got your foot well in the door. Um, Side show tone. Um, talk. Well, you can talk about drifting. How did that get brought up? Because I want I want to learn how to do that. I, I want to learn how to swing. <laughs> four four to five six seven eight nine ten minutes. About just the extent of the car game that have um that you've been exposed to since you've been coming up in it um whether you since you've been young since like middle school either high school and where you at now just being an adult the extent of the car game where you see it either where it's at and where it's going because as a youngin i remember i was a scraper bike boy i had to scrape i put tape on my on my bicycle just to act like it was a scraper bike. Like I said, you well, you know, a free free two eleven breeze, still, still free breeze. One of my brothers, and we could cut this out, whatever. But that's one person that, as well. I wish didn't go down the path he went down because people. He was just another motherfucker who was so misunderstood, and as was. But me knowing him the way I do, I just be like this nigga. And Jabri was a hothead, a wild motherfucker. So Jabri, Jabri. I'm talking about Jabri. Jabri. I'm talking about Jabri. Let me nigga. tell you this: Jabri never gave me no bad Jabri vibes. I just seen that everybody I'm else talking about treated Jabri. Jabri. Everybody hate like everybody else hated nigga, Jabri, bro. Everybody like, hated Jabri because he was except himself, bitch. Because he was himself. And that's my brother. That's a nigga who I love. That, that's one of my him. My like I said, my nigga Shannon. Man, I got, that's why I say niggas pick and choose their battles, man. There's a thousand other niggas. Niggas could have been mad at, but y'all choose to be mad at Jabri. But free that Jabri, nigga Jabri, free Jabri just Jabri, want, man. Jabri just wanted to show some love and 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 get some the hugs. Goofy nigga and with just the get dreams. some hugs, nigga. But get some hugs, some that, thugs and love. Yes, man. It. Shout out to Jabri. I ain't gonna lie. Me and Jabri got into it once, but at the same time, it was. Everybody. After that, we never thought about it. We always still showed love. You feel me? And crazy. it was on some crazy. Nigga, it was some shit at PE, nigga. Crazy. Little shit, little shit. You already know, cause he ain't gonna. Like I said, he ain't gonna back Look, down for I nobody. I didn't. got into it with everybody, man. Like everybody. Like, but 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 just to go back to to the extent of the car game that you've been exposed to as you have been older, um, and people taking it to a different lane. Because back in the day, like I said, with Jabri, he exposed me to a lot of other shit as far as Oakland scrapers, donks, all that shit. When motherfuckers was putting frosted speakers flakes on, on type of the shit. And speakers putting, on their bikes. Speakers on their bikes, putting the, the front speakers in their grill so you can hear me coming up the, the street. The same nigga that was doing the frosted flakes on the cars and shit, um, I forgot his name, but he got donks right now um, out the ass going crazy. I'm just crazy. saying. You feel me? So where, where, do you, where have you seen it evolve from? Just being in the space you're in, because I've been out of it. You know, I've been occupied with a lot Man, of other things. Man, I'm telling you, been in the car world a little the bit. The Bay longer. Area is a is a thick game, a thick tough place. But where everything really originates from, and really gets the recognition that really needs the recognition for real, it already has a recognition. Is Oakland and San Francisco. Um, they Say just that. They, it's always the wave will hit them first, and then you know we had pick it up last, and then the Bay mm -hmm. Area put the Vallejo put our own spill on it to make it seem like. The Vallejo's, the Richmonds, you feel me? Everybody yeah. else so surrounding. We put our, it. we put Vallejo niggas put our own spill on Bay shit to make it seem, and then it seemed like we originated our shit in a certain way, but we just really got it from the Oakland and San Francisco. You feel me? It's niggas have been doing this shit before us. We just putting our Vallejo spill on it because you know Vallejo the country of the Bay. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But but just talk. But speaking of car culture, what what are niggas copping now? What what's hot? Is it is it Marrows? Because I mean Man, back in the day it was. I mean five five are still timeless. Marrows is hot. Some shit is timeless. A lot of shit is timeless, but man, if you want to get your on? money on something, man, are, are box chefs still around box as they used chefs to be? Go for the, everything. Go, caprices go for the high. All muscle cars go for the high. 
Um, some Camino. We could talk some even some Camino's, LA shit. Some Camino. Some El some, Caminos that go for the high, depending on your year you got. If you still got the Malibu front end. Uh, some people want some Pontiac. Jason Batista that went to Vallejo. Some Pontiacs. Niggas want Firebirds? Lovers. Do niggas want Firebirds still? Firebirds. Uh, if you got like a 2002 Firebird. But I'm like say the that. older Firebirds, niggas ain't really tripping off of. Niggas ain't worrying about. I've, I've never been a Firebird person myself. But I've never been. To be honest with you, if you. Nissan 240s and 5.0 Mustangs. What's up with these 240s? Because I know you got one. You've been invested in that one for a long time. I've been seeing it through the socials and some old shit. 240s is like I, the 50s of Japan. Mm, can we coin that? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we do, 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 do? Say that again. 240s are the two, Nissan 240 SXs are like what? the Nissans. It's like it's like the 5.0s of Japan. I mean, only yeah. reason I say that because um. Working at the job was I was a we're working at a I was a delivery driver, and I pulled up to a house who had literally four five point oh's, two forties. Oh damn! Four. Two of them was different colors, and two of them were the same colors. Two of them were navy blue. One was like about to get painted like carbon primer, fiber primer, hood, primer, primer yeah. carbon fiber hood. Like he was probably racing that hoe, and the other one was just kind of in work. It. Four. I would never forget two forty. Only reason R.I.P. My, my dad, like I said, I haven't really talked about him, but he he liked that car too as well. R.I.P. Pops, but the 5.0s of Japan, that's a great way to put it. I'm 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 thrown off by that because only reason I take that to heart because you know how I feel about 5.0s as you do and as well. Now you understand how 240s is. It's the 5.0 of Japan. It's, it's a drift legend. It's the car that everybody started on. It comes in just like how the, the Mustang comes. That's crazy. It comes in numerous different styles. Couple like of the them. 240 comes inside, like the pig nose type X, um, different, but you know, different body kits mm -hmm. and shit like that. But it mm -hmm. also comes with Sylvia, so you can get your lights to go up and down, or you can come to, like right. I did, I converted it to the Sylvia front end, right? Where the lights don't come, you feel me? Them Sylvia brick lights cost like 13, 1500 right now, original e JDM lights, e you feel me? E so, uh, the motor swaps, the things that come into it, like you feel me, the turbos, the it's extensive, the car game is extensive, and I didn't know even other than because I'm I'm an American Muscle fan and being the coach I was raising just out in the Bay, it's always about muscle, cars, swinging, torque, little shit like yeah. that. But like you said, now you're talking about some more Nissan. A lot some of cars more. is more expensive. The cars, the cars that's the most expensive. I feel like to me and for our generation, is the cars that came inside the selections hmm. from coupe to hatch. I like you, and I fuck with the hats. You know, I'm, I'm a so hats like, fan. It's like Mustangs that came in a coupe or a hatch, a drop. You mm -hmm. have options. Two uh, forties come inside uh, flip up lights or Sylvia mm -hmm. lights. Mm -hmm. Options. You feel me? You can come a hatch or a coupe. The aesthetics or a convert or a convertible. The aesthetics of the car. You could come inside different options. See, uh, we, like we don't talk about this. Corollas, Toyota, Toyota Corollas. They come mm -hmm. in different options. You get a Corolla with. Leave-in lights that go inside. It's called leave-in or leave-in, whatever. Mm -hmm. It go across like the like Sylvia's, right. or you could get the pop-up lights on the Toyota GT86. Right. Um, all these cars, like uh, shit, like IROC, Camaros. Uh, let's 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 even take it cars a, is different. a degree further, even into luxury. How many SC400s have you seen? Some some Lexuses around. Like how many Lex? Like if you see everybody want a Benz or a Beamer, like. Even talking about Bay Area the culture, well, what have you seen in that aspect? So Just Lexus, not even as cars to swing, but the luxury cars the luxury, that have been popping around. Even you know, Lexus, Ashton Martin's been a little bit, you know, yeah, little Ashton Martin's is good. Ashton Martin's are expensive. Bay. You can get some of those. Uh, Maserati, everybody want the Benz. Everybody want a Maserati. Oh, my. Maserati. Oh, my. They appreciate too much, though. Please. You I'm tired spend, of seeing Maseratis in Vallejo, nigga. You spend 30, I know you don't live nowhere. Over. Even if you live in the East. Wherever you live at, nigga, you don't need no Maserati, nigga. You'll spend 30 bands care. on a Maserati, and then that shit will go down to 15 bands. I've just seen day. a couple of Bentleys around the V, little shit like that. My, yeah. my shit is if I'm bored, well, depending on where you live. Your Shout house, out Henny. Sure that nigga, Henny got a fucking Cullen. That nigga got a Rolls Royce truck. That nigga got a. It's niggas out here that got shit for real. Shout Talk out about luxury. Like what, what, what's, the, what's the luxury yeah, game luxury, as far as cars uh, looking like in the bay, my, my guy? Well, shit, man, I can't really speak on luxury because I don't really buy luxury shit. That's a different tax, tax bracket for me. Hmm. Um, I know a lot of niggas that got shit, you feel me, that spend money on shit, that got a lot of clean is, shit. Do you but, feel like now, or, or the people you have been exposed to, is it for the flex, or is it for the, is it for the image really nowadays, or well, do you think it's just for like, like not, they really... Not the niggas that I know of, I don't know what their motives is about it, but it, to me, to everybody, I, everything's for image. 
Yeah. At the like, end of the day, you're trying to impress either yourself or somebody. Yourself or somebody. Like me, like, I'm trying to impress myself with Mustangs. Hmm. And car I always want to have all my life. Uh, donks, 68, 67, 66. Come on. Uh, I mean, 78, 76. I, I want uh, some Dayton's. I want some Dayton's on this, and I want the, the rims you got on uh, Topanga on that on one. That one, yeah. You feel it, me? So it's like, it's the image you want to have of what you want, but at the same time, everybody want to have that I got money look. You feel me? But that's because niggas ain't really true to themselves. Now, it's people that been... It's people like that been having money for years that got shit now because... Right. They've been right. I've been balling for years. This is what I'm used to. Right. You feel me? But it's niggas that you feel me just want to do a social status. But it is what it is. Right. But with me, with these cars, man. I love cars to the point that, bro. Like, I get high to think about cars. You hmm. feel me? I to daydream, listen to currency, and think about me cruising in my car off the Golden Gate Bridge. I, I can you see. Feel me? I can see you as that, like a. I wouldn't even say a barrier type currency, but yeah, like you said, just smoking weed and vibing with your vehicle at the end of the day. And I respect it because I have a I have a lot of interest in a lot of different things. Um, podcasting just happened to be one of my passions, but seeing cars be your passion. That's why I love tapping into the brands I bring onto the podcast because I love it. When I say I like it, I don't just say, oh, I like it just to bring y'all on. I really love the shit y'all do as far as cars. I'm passionate. I wish I could compute and, and digest vehicles the way you do but like i said that's that's why it, it just makes you a person who i want to bring on i want to learn oh, from and pick yeah. your brain so I'll, i'm so I'll glad you, you. you had it on here um but for cars the luxury cars like toyota's like you said sc3 like the sc400s mm -hmm. uh lexus is the luxury of toyota yeah, it is so that's the same I, I know company. same, same, same so company like the sc everything they come out I'm a, I'm a Lexus Lex person. Shout out to Lexus. I love my, yeah, my, Lexus my favorite is Lexus. Good. Toyota is expensive, but they got good shit. Period. My, ironically, my favorite Lexus is the IS three hundred. IS three hundred. Only because Shout of out Tito, uh, Lexus, Tito. Need, for, need for Speed Most Wanted. Yeah, Need for Speed Most Wanted. IS three hundred. It was a little backless car. I'll run anybody in that game, but go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'll serve niggas. But uh, uh, Lex, my when I started drifting, my mm -hmm. first car. I was I had a two forty, but the first car I was actually drifting, not doing donuts, like throwing yes. going forward. Yes, was the SC three hundred. Okay, and it was and they came. I and, told, that's what I said. Them SC three hundred. I said I might have said four hundred earlier, but through SC three hundred, bro. So the difference between those two, like, all right, so SC oh, four hundred. You see them everywhere in the bay. I didn't see like eighty just in the, in the mm -hmm. north. Everybody like the SC four hundred because it's, it's a V eight, but the SC three hundred is. Uh, it has the same Toyota Super motor, uh, two JZ motor without the turbo. So you add a turbo, you got it's called the Poor Man's Toyota Super, which is the orange car Paul Walker had in Fast and the Furious. So you feel me? for layman's terms, does that one go faster for the viewers? I don't think it goes faster because the V8 always but go it's harder, better but for swinging. It's better for drifting it, for all y'all. Yeah. So the three hundred aftermarket shit you can add on to it to make it go very harder for the viewers. It's better for you feel me getting that little. But niggas still go. <laughs> it depends when you talk to a lot of niggas like to go one. It's called a one UZ motor, which is the okay. SC four hundred motors. You feel me? Yes. The V8. Yes. One UZ Japanese V8. Yes. 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 But I'm you want a two J. Familiar. familiar. I got a little bit. I got a little bit of language in that area. I got a little bit of language. Yeah. You feel so me? what I had was a SC three hundred. I had a, it was five speed with a W58, which is like the uh, R50, a R154, I believe, is the Toyota Super transmission. I had a W58 transmission with a 2JZ non turbo. Basically, SC300s was hard to find and stick. Okay, five Bre speed. Yeah, break it down for the viewers. Break it down for the viewers. Uh, SC300s is hard to find. They all came automatic, you feel me? So it's hard to find. I don't even think the one you see, I don't think any of them came automatic, but it's hard to find the car in the stick. I had the car in the stick. So it's like drifting in luxury. Like you got electric, everything, uh, fucking leather, everything, radio, everything. But, it's like you're but drifting when, it comes in luxury. To, when it comes to drifting and swinging, a stick is better. 100%. The, it's yeah. niggas that got automatics. I know, yeah, no, yeah. It's I niggas that got automatics that got bars. You hmm. feel me? Because they just you feel me? No, they swap no, that they shit. Did. They just know how to swing cars. You feel me? Right. And some niggas that just are real good drivers. Mm -hmm. But drifting and all that shit, bro, and really getting you want to learn how to drive a stick. Five speed, six speed. You gonna want to learn how to go through them gears, kicking that clutch. You gonna want to learn how to burn them tires for real. But besides that, nigga, just get a. What I tell everybody is, I feel like every man in mm -hmm. this world should have something that he collects or cherish besides his family and his kids because you need your own way to get your own peace and sanity to separate yourself your own happiness so like some niggas collect your baseball cards some niggas collect uh 
different cameras. Some niggas collect. I, coll- I collect vans. I you collect like, vans. Exactly. Everybody got their own collection. Everybody got something that they proud of. You feel me? And as an OG that I want to be, I want to be the OG that pulls out the old school on Sundays, take his kids to church. You feel me? Uh, wash, Ooh, come teach on. my son oh, how to take there. pride in it. Oh, wash I'm cars. You feel me? And I'm gonna I wanna be there leave, with you. I want to leave my son some shit. You feel me? That's, so that's why I'm really building this because my dad left me a big ass. He left me big ass shoes to fill. Yeah, come on. Uh, my dad left me a lot of shit that you feel me. A lot of niggas can't do or compare to. Right. Uh, right. I take my hat off to my father. You feel me? Um, Just the person he he was the, as a man overall right. in the streets, as a businessman. Uh, down to he, you know, he's free now. Down to not speaking on nobody or anything like that. Just an overall top tier dude. You feel me? Like right. you feel me? A lot of this shit be born into you. Um. Pops is just a real ass nigga, and I, I'm not go, I I can't I ain't gonna say I can't build a legacy as big as his because I feel like I build one that's bigger big or if not bigger always, but it's gonna impact different and I'm gonna come a different approach. You feel right. me? So right. I ain't gotta pop thistles and I don't got like Neff the fair, Neff my Mac Dre. You feel me? Of this generation, so I ain't you feel me? I ain't got Mac Dre like how Pops had Mac Dre. You feel me? Uh. Like you said, do intros. Pops did intros and right. did all types of right. shit. Right, right. It's uh, the same, but it's different. I could do a whole lot of shit like that, but this is my lane. This is what I love. You, it's a new generation. You know, you here. At the end of the day, you you are following somebody's footsteps, but you are also creating your own path. You're okay. not you're not yeah. following. You feel me? The next. So you feel me? You're creating your own path, creating your own lane. Yeah. This for this for my son right here. For real. For real. Uh, when he turned 18, 17 and, leg- and watch where he take it A legacy that's watch forever where he take living it. on He might take it to a whole nother level A whole different level you Dipped and Butter might be a production company for movies You never fucking know